Well, Helene Segura is a professional organizer, and she's been here on San Antonio Living many times, helping us get organized. This morning, we're talking about your workspace. Is it important to have an organized workspace? It's so good to see you. Thanks for coming this morning. Thanks, Shelley. You know, I I have a messy desk sometimes. Mm -hmm. It gets, like, out of control, and then I can't think straight anymore. Like, I stop working and I have to get everything in order and I think that's true with a lot of people definitely so according to studies up to 50 percent of people waste time looking for stuff on their desk so mm -hmm. they get distracted subconsciously they're feeling guilty because it's still there and so that affects our productivity if you're not working you're not doing your job and making your money well, what are some of the benefits to having an organized office other than being able to find things, obviously? Well, it just frees your mind. Yeah. As you said, you know, you just feel stressed out when you're sitting at that desk. So mm -hmm. even though you know what you need to do, there's some stalling happening because, oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. What am I going to do with this? Yeah, it drives me nuts for whatever reason. But it, it's also kind of hard to put things in their place. And you mentioned that we've got to put things not only in their place, but in the right kind of organizer. Why is that important? Well, if you get something that doesn't fit the objects that you want to store, then you're going to end up with this giant mish-mosh mess. So a lot of times the big containers are on sale and you think, oh, I'm going to get that big container because I'm saving money. Right. But if you have to store a lot of small supplies, tons of it end up getting in the big container. You have to dump things out in order to find yep. something, and there you go, another mess. All right, so tips to getting the desk organized. Yes, so we just talked about fine containers that fit what you need to store. So okay. if you need to store some pens or pencils, you don't need a big shoebox size container. Get something smaller. So this can sit out either on the desk okay. or inside the drawer. If you've got a lot of thumb drives or flash drives sitting around, again, you don't need a giant container. Just okay. find something small that's sitting around your home or office and just store everything there. So Makes that way sense. you don't have to separate things out. It's already separated. Excuse me. I had to sneeze. Sorry. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, if you need to store um, the same types of handouts or cards, you can go vertical to save space on your desk and you ah. just slip them into little containers. Okay. Got your business cards there, little postcards, freeze up your desk space. Okay. Over I think here. That's important. This yes. is where I have trouble is with the files. I have papers all over the place. How, how do you best put them away? First, you want to establish your categories. So okay. figure out, is there any kind of pattern in the papers that are appearing on your desk? So if you're prepping for a show, you might have some style papers. Okay. You might have some you know, eating, dieting papers, sure. things so like that. Sure, so label things and mm -hmm. put them in their little place. Right, and it helps to go vertical. It's a lot easier to see things here than in piles because, True. of course, the thing that you need is on the bottom and you forget that it's it there. It always is. Now, yes. what's the difference between between a file folder like this mm -hmm. and something like this? Well, this is very easy to keep things separated, okay. whereas this is more for odd size objects. So ah. you get those booklets that come in. They're all different sizes. They don't quite fit in the file. You can keep them organized in a magazine holder. Okay, so once we get everything organized, mm -hmm. how do we keep it that way? It's really key. At the end of each day, you carve out some time and you just pause and think about what new information came in, what okay. new papers came in, and let's process it. Okay. Because it's a lot better than waiting for weeks and weeks and weeks until you've got this huge stack and then you're miserable trying to deal with all of that at yeah. once. So process each day. That way you're only taking maybe five or ten minutes instead of hours at the end of the month. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about your book because you wrote a great book that's sort of a road map for people who, who really want to get organized. Huh. That's the title <laughs> of it, by the way. Yes. But, but this tackles everything, not just the desk. You really go over everything in the book. Right. It's actually how to develop patterns in the way that you think. So okay. that way, whether it's your desk, it's your car, it's your pantry, it doesn't matter where, you're learning how you think, how you work, so that way you can set up a space exactly for your needs, not anybody okay. else's. What's the biggest thing that keeps people from being organized? Is it something going on up here? Are we too busy? What is it? I think it's a combination of people being too busy mm -hmm. and then not taking the time to plan because we want everything instantly. We have our phones, we're going to hit an app, and then life's going to be better. Right. But if we just take a step back and plan what it is that's bothering us, what the challenge is, and what steps can we take in order to fix what's going wrong, 
things go a lot more smoothly. You organizers are a little bit uh, life counselors plus mm -hmm. organizers. And I know this is something that you do for people around San Antonio. You mm -hmm. are out uh, talking to people about leading a more organized life. Do you work with companies and, and individual people as well? Yes, I do. In fact, um, I just got in town. Aaron Busby is going to be here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We are presenting trainings across the country um, for a large company. And so Very it's really cool. great. So you can help individuals and help people build up their business, but you can also help companies at the same time. All right, guys, pick up the book. It'll get you started. If you need a little more help, call Helene. She will get you going in the right direction. She's with livingordersa.com. Her phone number is 892-4990. And the book, Roadmap to Get Organized.com, you can find it online.